Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news that markets are still in a holding pattern ahead of key decisions by the US Federal Reserve and European Central Bank on Thursday morning our time and Thursday night our time. US stocks were down 0.5% overnight and the New Zealand dollar pretty steady just around that 81 US cent mark. The key thing is the US Federal Reserve's decision announced tomorrow morning our time. And economists are expecting the Fed to delay a, a next round of money printing until the next meeting on September the 13th. This is because they're waiting for more data on what's happening with the economy, in particular jobs figures due out on Friday night. And as that happened, there was more signs of a slowdown in the US economy. Consumer spending there was pretty much flat in June as people built up their savings in anticipation of a weak labour market. Again, watch these jobs figures on Friday to see how the US economy is going. Meanwhile, across the Atlantic, European stocks were down 0.6% overnight. They're all waiting for the announcement from the European Central Bank on Thursday. Meanwhile, UBS, the Swiss bank, and BP, the oil major, both missed expectations for their profits. And also there was news European unemployment rose to 11.2% across the Eurozone. Remember, Spain unemployment, 24.8%. Portugal, 15.4%. Ireland, 14.8%. France, 10.1% unemployment. And finally, in Asia, Korean output fell unexpectedly in July. This reinforces signs that the Chinese economy is slowing and one that New Zealand should watch. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was 90 at 9 from interest.co.nz.